Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I am so pleased because I have such a killer list of products under $10 that perform incredibly well. These are things that I would use on a daily basis, that I would recommend to my girlfriends in real life, that I would recommend to family. I have three sisters, they're constantly asking me, what can I grab down at the drugstore that's not a gazillion dollars if I'm in a pinch for X, Y, Z? We got a lot of lip, we got a lot of eye, we got a lot of face. I think I have 10 products, but I always mess that up. I'm always like, 10 under $10. And then the description is like, oh, it's actually, way more than 10 because you cannot learn to zip it to save your life. So we're just gonna kind of get into it because I'm very, very proud of myself with what we're diving right into. A lot of this is new makeup as well that I you know, recently had some time to kind of fuss over and play around with. And you guys know, I tell you all the time, that in the evenings I become my own adult coloring book, you know, to calm my nerves. I just kind of sit in the mirror and put on 20 different nude lipsticks. It's a little bit weird, but it's my thing. Um, I also do this thing where I swatch up my arm with like different formulas of the same color. It's pleasurable, like I love it. Um, so I get really excited when I find something like this. This is a revamped formula from Revlon. They are bringing out good products right now and I am so happy about it. I remember back when I started my channel, I was bebopping around wearing a spirit hood. Why did I think that was like a thing? I don't know. I just like, I honestly thought the whole thing was kind of a joke, I guess, and I was having fun. But I would go in the store and I would be like, use coupons, get free makeup, or with Revlon, sometimes, sorry, Revlon, uh, but sometimes they would like pay you. Like you'd be like, double coupon. And then the cashier's like, wow, how'd you do that? And I'm like, I know, right? I do research and I do this thing. Um, because if you had a certain coupon and the store coupon, and they changed the rules because people like me started making videos, but uh, they would actually give you a credit. So there was a slim time where I would always know that Revlon, like the lustrous lip glosses and their lipsticks, I was like, mm, like extra care bucks, coupon on coupon, buy one, get one free. Like I'm just gonna grab a basket and have like a lot of lipstick. Um, long story short, I have a soft spot in my heart for Revlon products. In the past couple of years, I have not been as mesmerized as I once was. However, they're doing something. I don't know if they've hired on a new creative director. I don't know if they're just revamping things all together, but they are impressing me. I mean, this packaging alone is very sleek. It has this kind of matte rubberized feel to it with the gold and then the gold kind of halo on the top. Um, I love this packaging, you guys. And I just looked at what number this is and I did not notice this, I promise you. I'm wearing shade number 11. Hello, angels. They keep talking to me. I keep seeing 11s everywhere, you guys. It's really honestly the weirdest thing in my life. It's literally gotten to a point of being totally unexplainable. And like, I keep seeing these memes. It's kind of like your angels are talking to you. If you see like a butterfly and a hummingbird and synchronicity with numbers. I used to not fully subscribe to all of that. And I was like, I don't know. Like, I don't know about that. But then you notice it everywhere. And I think the weirdest one recently was like every clock was like 11, 11, 11, 11, 11, 11. And then I look out my window in a high rise at like the very freaking top in Seattle. And uh, there's a hummingbird literally outside the window that like won't leave. And I'm like, why is a hummingbird this high up? This makes no sense. And there are 11s everywhere, like something is happening. I don't even know. Um, so anyway, and my mom's calling. Hi, mom. Hey, my darling, how are you? Um, I'm filming right now, so you're on, you're part of my video. Just call to say hi. Give me a call later if you want. What are you filming? Uh, best under 10 at the drugstore. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, find grandma an eyebrow pencil. Oh, I don't know that I have that, but I do have good recommendations. Anyway, I have a lipstick okay. that is in the shade 11. It's so good. And I was just kind of like rambling on about seeing 11s everywhere. Confirm this. It's weird, right? Are you serious? Really? Yeah. Wow. I know. Wow. Yeah, they've been happening to me too. It's weird. So, All right, good yeah. vibes. Okay. All right, I'll call you, I'll call you a little later. All right. 
All right, love you. Love you. Okay, bye. Bye. So this shade that I'm wearing of the lipstick that I wanna rave about from Revlon that is a matte formula that is both comfortable, creamy, opaque, and in a wide range of colors. They have some, so rude. I don't know how to, I got a new iPad, you guys, and I don't know how to turn the volume off. I'm gonna sneeze. Oh my God, this whole video is a mess. Oh my God. <laughs> I sneeze really aggressively. And my whole family makes fun of me because uh, the rest of my sisters literally sneeze like this. <laughs> like they have like the cute like little <laughs> sneeze and I sound like Shrek. I'm like large and in charge and like, oh, like it's like some fairy tale creature or something that's like aggressively loud. And anyway, the reason that I do that is so that I don't squinch my eyes too much and pop a lash. And so I think it's made me like a really like loud Sneezer. Back to the lipstick, finally. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, ah! Hit the bell if you like for Tati to mess up everything on camera. Good Lord. These lashes are awesome though. I think they're under $10. Uh, moving on, I wanna talk about e.l.f. because this is what is on my eyes right now, you guys. I love this and it is on sale. Actually, some of the things I'm talking about in this video, I was surprised. I was like, some physician's formulas on sale. Not only is it under 10, but it's discounted. And these are newer products. This shade right here is a freaking dream. It is what is right here. And I wanted to show you guys because I tend to open up PR and I swatch a lot of what I get. If I like the color story, I will then apply it and I'll kind of hang out and see like, are, you know, is there a fallout? Are things creasing? How is the blending? Um, and that's a typical night in my household. But do you see, that's the color that I'm like, dude, if you can get this for like, what, $7? Who cares about the other shades? Like that is so nice. And then this purple and this lighter green are also really, really pretty. It's kind of like a light little kiss hint of shine, but I'm super into it. Um, the darker shades, be careful, they are ultra pigmented, um, but they do blend out so well. Like I, I, I'm shocked that not more people are talking about this because I will be totally like honest with you guys. I don't always like e.l.f. shadow palettes. Like sometimes they are hit or miss. Sometimes they just don't work out. This one, go snatch it up. I'm telling you. Go, just go buy it. And like, yes, I am always gonna recommend good stuff. Doesn't matter that I have an eyeshadow palette. I still need to tell you guys, like that is a good palette. Um, and it's very colorful, but also natural. We like that. Let's talk about brushes from e.l.f. This is a collaboration. And the collaborator is such a sweetheart. And she DM'd me when I first showed this, I think in an unboxing and, 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 Boxing. <laughs> Why can't I say that? Oh, I first showed this product off in an unboxing. <laughs> That's really hard to say. I showed it off in an unboxing. There we go. Uh, and I really love this. And compared to a lot of my other brushes, because I have done a brush cleanse, I have let go of clutter. And I was looking at these and I was like, this is just like so soft. Like these are so nice. And again, hello. Why are more people not like jumping on the train and like getting it, like hop right on. This is so, so good. And then this e.l.f. and Nabella Noor, I, I think I'm saying that correctly. This is such a beautiful highlight, you guys. Wow. I the, ugh, This jar will last you a lifetime. And it's the perfect champagne, universally flattering, not too yellow, orange, gold, not too pale silver. It's that beautiful, neutral, just gorgeous highlight that you can go really intense with. You can amplify with a setting mist or you can just apply it just, you know, like so. And it just, uh, it's so flattering. It's the perfect shade. Like, honestly, I reach for it a lot and I have a lot of highlighters and I'm always like da 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 and I like do the scan and I'm like, where's that one with the gold lid? It's very affordable. It's someone in the community that we can support and both the brushes and the highlight are a collaboration. So well done. I am so in love. You did such a good job. They're 
excellent. All right, I also want to talk about my eyeliner. You guys have asked me to update you. This is exactly like $10 on the dime. So it just made the cut, 10 and under. This is from Dollface. You can find this at Rite Aid. And they're another like really great company, just generous with their support and their gratitude and just like really nice. Um, they saw my video, they liked it, and you know, were really cool and supportive over the things that I enjoyed, the things that I didn't, and I always appreciate that so, so much. Uh, I will share it has been increasingly difficult to be totally unfiltered because I now know how much it stabs you in the heart when people don't like your product. But I also am aware that products are unique and they're not for every single person and every single person's specific desire of beauty and what they're looking for. You know, with liner, I like a matte finish. Some people like a glossy finish. Some people like a smoky finish. So we all have different desires and I try to keep that in mind when reviewing. It's really important to me moving forward, um, but I'll still be giving you like the full unfiltered thing. Liners like this come across in a, like once in a blue moon. This is at the Tom Ford level. You can be a total beginner and do very well with this. It is such an easy to work with felt tip liner and it does not budge or smudge, but if you do need to have that moment where you're like, yikes, and you need to clean up an edge, it doesn't like bleed like black and gray everywhere. It just cleans up so quickly. And you set it, you forget it, boom, boom. It's just done and there until you decide to wash it off. It's one of the best felt tip liners I have discovered at the drugstore, I think ever. I mean, I wanna be careful to say that like complete. I need to do a think on it and like go back in time and watch some of my older reviews. But honestly, this is so, so, so good. Moving on, another item that is on sale right now. Now, these are so cute. They're little trios from Physician's Formula. I've been using this one. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing both the bronzer and the blush. And I just, it is very fragranced. It doesn't bother me though. For some reason, this formula, because it doesn't have a lot of skin irritating ingredients to start out with, I never have an issue with the butter formulation from Physician's Formula. Sometimes fragrance gets me. You guys know that. Uh, but this never does. Now these are cute little trios where I love kind of mixing my bronzers all together and these mix together really nicely. You can sculpt the face on the side here, kind of do the three and the E and that whole thing. And then you can go in and almost move it inward with one of the lighter shades. That works out so well. I love this, it's easy to blend. Um, no, you don't get a mirror in here and no, you don't get a ton of product in each pan, but who cares? This is very affordable. It is on sale right now. I wanna say around like five or $6. So great, great steal. I'm gonna be gifting this one, so I'm not gonna open it up, but they do have one that is specifically just those highlighters. I already have all the highlighters in that big pink plastic makeup case. It looks so cheap, but it's so good. And so many of you guys are messaging me and you're like, I love that too. Like, thanks for the recommendation. I'm like, oh, hey, cool. Um, like we're all getting together with this like pull out plastic major makeup situation. I already have all the highlights, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away, but I wanted to share that with you guys because I thought it was a great bargain. Um, I also wanna share, and this is another situation where I already have multiples of these. So I am gonna be giving this away as well. This is the Creamy Gel Eyeliner in Waterproof and it is black and this is from The Cream Shop. This is very budge proof. This is great if you need to go on top of a lash line, conceal things. If you feel you have more control doing your liner with um, not a liquid felt tip pen and you want to do it with a angled brush. This is a beautiful, beautiful cream liner. Just make sure you close the lid because it dries out pretty quickly. I can usually just dampen my brush or use an eyeliner liquid. It's kind of like those drops that elongate the wear time of your eyeliner where you can turn a powder into a liquid liner. Uh, that will work well to soften the formula right back up. But the best thing to do is just to make sure you have the lid screwed on nice and tight. Otherwise it does tend to dry out. That's the only drawback. The price is great, 
The wear time's great, the application is great, it's so smooth and creamy, it's very goof proof, and it's very rich in opacity and very deep in color, so I love that. Okay, we have another item from Physicians Formula. Now these are little chapsticks that are so good. I thought that they would stink. I don't know why, I thought they would be like in the rose collection, that they would be like rose floral scented chapstick and that it would just kind of make me go Ugh. but it doesn't. Um, they smell delicious. They smell like caramel. It's so good. And this has all sorts of vitamin E. It's just like very rich and nourishing. And it is a chapstick plus color. So it's very effortless as far as a look goes. It's not overly glossy. It's not overly pigmented, but there's definitely enough there to make you feel like, oh, yay, cute. You know, like you have enough of a lip going that you feel a little better than nothing. Watch me put on every single one. I'm sorry, I don't know why I'm doing this. Isn't that nice? And it will heal your chapped and abused lips. For those of you out there that wear a liquid lip one too many days in a row, raise your hand. I am that woman, okay? I will go to town and I'll be like, I feel like a bright, fuchsia, really drying liquid lip. And it doesn't matter what liquid lip you are using, they are all drying. I don't care what anyone says, they're all drying. Um, I'll do a lip scrub, a little like overnight mask, but they still kind of get beat up if you do it too many days in a row. So what I like to do is like help assist that by, you know, after I wear a liquid lip, if I have events or I need a long wear look or whatever, for a few days after, I'll just do like a really juicy balm with a little bit of color in it, like the physician's formula that I just showed you. So it's really nice. Um, okay, Koki has these really great bronzers. They're matte, they have an elephant, yay elephants. I failed to link the Sanctuary uh, site when I mentioned elephants last time. I will do that this time. Um, it's the Koh Samoy Elephant Sanctuary. They're a beautiful organization. I hope that I get to see the elephants again and maybe contribute or help in a more meaningful way in the future. They are a beautiful organization. I love Thailand. I love elephants. And I love that Koki has that on their logo um, just because I just think they're like the sweetest. Someone sent me an article saying that the reason that elephants like humans so much and they're just like come toward us and are friendly um, is because they think we're cute the same way that we think puppies are cute. I thought that was so interesting because that's kind of the vibe that I got. Like I was making serious, like intense, like eye contact, like, and I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not. Like, oh, I'm, I don't want to look at you too long because I don't want you to think I'm like trying to be aggressive or anything, but they're just mesmerizing. And it was so emotional and so beautiful. And I just felt such a huge connection. So uh, why am I talking about elephants? <laughs> I'm supposed to be talking about makeup, but anyway, it's like those little teeny tiny things in your day that make you smile when you see a logo or something that just reminds you of something that you love. So yeah, I like this bronzer, it's cute. I like the packaging, um, I like the pan size, and I absolutely love the shades that they have, Lean More Warm. They have different shades that range lighter and deeper, and this is under 10 bucks, and I just think it blends well, it's matte, it's rich in tone where it really like enhances and makes you feel bronzed and sun-kissed and it's big enough of a pan that you can take it on the body. I like taking either the Blendiful or a large brush and just going on the body when you have a pan size that is this big. Um, I will say I am loving the new Photo Focus foundation from Wet n Wild. A++++, so good. Holy cow, they did that. I still like the original, but if I wanted a little more hydration or if I were to recommend this to a friend that had drier skin than mine, I wouldn't just recommend the straight photo focus, I would recommend this. So if you haven't had a chance to try it out yet, they have a ton of new product. I really wanna get my hands on more, but the photo focus dewy uh, foundation, it's like $7, is so good. Okay, um, also I do need to check on the price of this, but I am just gonna tell you, at random I was gonna sit down and I was like, do I need lashes? I don't know if I wanna put on lashes. I don't know, maybe yes, no. And I had this pair sitting right here and almost always, I put on a lash and I'm like, ugh, like no, too heavy. Ugh, that looks weird. Or ugh, I'm having a struggle with the band. Nakia Joy Cosmetics, her lashes are so good. 
Everybody flips out about them for good reason because they go on so quickly. And for some reason, they just give you that lash extension, kind of like, does she have them? Does she not? Just like you but better, fluttery, beautiful, gorgeous lash. And I'm obsessed. This is Ashley 2.0 that I'm wearing right now. I gotta preserve these. I mean, my goodness, I'm the worst. My lashes just wander everywhere. Poor James. Poor, poor James. He's always thinking there's spiders on the floor, on the mirror, on the table, on the uh, in the kitchen. I mean, it's just like, they just like everywhere. But um, that's usually when I'm very careless. I'm not gonna be careless with these because I need to preserve because these are so good. I need to order more too. They're so, so nice. All right, um, I have, do I have a few more? I've lost count. I know, we're just kind of going there. Um, I have this Photo Ready Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. Revlon, wow, you are, I like your concealer in this range. I'm loving the lip stuff, you're doing it, and I am excited. Um, I now see a package from Revlon and I'm like, ooh, like what do we have? Because it's been really, really good makeup recently. So this is the Candid Anti-Pollution Setting Powder. This is in shade one. And this is a formula that's very good for most skin types, sensitive skin types, no added fragrance, phthalate free, it's dye free. It's just a nice formula. I really like it. This powder has enough pigmentation to give you a little like soft brightening, but it's not adding a ton of coverage. It's just like this tiny bit of brightening. It blurs things. It makes the skin look locked in and flawless, but not cakey. And I really, really have been enjoying it. I've also been enjoying the Bambi Eye Mascara from L'Oreal. You know, they did Lash Paradise, smash hit. This one, it gives you this like fluttery, like I'm wearing it on the lower lashes. Can you see? It just gives you this like, this nice separation, but volume length, but not too much. So you kind of have like, princess lashes. It's just, the name is so appropriate. Bambi lashes, that's so cute. So this is a great mascara. I have totally been into it. And I think we've reached the end. I hope you enjoyed this, a roundup of my favorites that will not break the bank, some ideas for new fun things that you can pick up at the drugstore that I am sure you will enjoy that are great quality. So if you did like this video and you want more like it, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button, share the video, leave me comments, make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell for extra credit because that's just, that's just what you do. And it will then notify you of my future uploads. So you can come and hang out with me again and I would love that. All right, thank you guys so much. I love you so, so much. And I will see you all in my next video. Mwah.